what are you most excited about right now in your role? Like what's, what are you most pumped about right now? Um, I think in Salesforce terms, the reason I joined is the reason I am most excited right now. Um, so if you think a little bit of a, um, a checkered quick history of, you know, Paul's World, a harbor tour cruise, if you like, came from a big corporate product background, all of that good stuff, did a CMO role, then went into an organization doing consulting to other organizations about marketing, then went back into being a CMO. And throughout that journey, I've been interacting with Salesforce. I've either been a customer, and I've been a customer more than once, and I've also sold Salesforce as being you know, part of the consulting piece, the practices. We, we looked after all marketing platforms, but Salesforce definitely was one of the fastest growing um, practices we had. And I've implemented Salesforce many times with many customers. So the reality is being a customer and working with customers, trying to make you know sure they're getting the value that they need to from uh, the investment they've made, I think you have a really unique view about the the company that you're interacting with. And you know, there was no doubt in my mind that we've got some great marketing platforms out there. Um, Salesforce is more than just a, a marketing platform I think we all appreciate. But the the reality is, as a customer, there were it felt to me like I was navigating Salesforce versus Salesforce was helping me navigate all of the the incredible things that it had. So when the opportunity was to kind of like go on the inside and be like, hey, be the customer on the inside, you know, help the customer think about, you know, how do we translate what we do and make sure that our customers can be successful, that actually they get the right assets at the right time, that actually they get um, access to the, you know, the right talent, the capabilities, um, you know, the success ecosystem, as we would call it. Hard not to take that on board, right? It's like if, you, if you've been on the other foot and you're kind of like, hey, I, I know the pains. Um, I also know all of the upsides, not all of them, many of the upsides. So I'm really excited because it feels like customer success, which is one of Salesforce's core values, it's one of the five core values, it's never been more pertinent, it's never been more important, and it's never been more front and center for the organization. I mean, and again, I haven't been at the organization for 23 years, but it's what I hear, it's what I feel. So joining, that that's why I'm excited because it feels like all roads have come back to the most important thing, which is customer success. Wow, that's that's so interesting. Was this role created prior to you joining? Was this a new role created or was this already? It, it, it was in place. So it's been in place in, in different iterations. Um, okay. I think everyone comes with you know their own flavor and, and thing. And part of joining was revisiting some of the historic work and It's always a blessing when you join an organization where you're kind of like, wow, I am just surrounded with like such incredible talent. And you look at the work that was ongoing or the the remit of the team before and you go, you know, this is this is directionally really sound. It's really good. I think what people have reminded me and, you know, you have to remind yourself is, you know, what I do come with is that customer experience and, you know, that, therefore that unique um, point of view. So there'll, there'll be a few things tweaked here and there to um, optimize towards that and maybe um, change a little bit of direction. But yeah, the, the role was always there. Um, they're just always a little bit different based on different leaders. Wow. So what were, what were some of the initial things that you changed, I guess, on the, on the how did you kind of double down on customer experience, having all this really cool experience prior? What are there kind of some, were there some low hanging things you're like, okay, I see these two or three things we're going to change right away based on my experience implementing Salesforce, knowing Salesforce, selling Salesforce. What are some of those early things you did or didn't do? Yeah, I, I think you and I discussed in the last time we did our, our podcast about, you know, hey, brands are internally focused and externally felt. For me, the first thing is to really spend that time dwelling on on the inside and like, hey, do we have things set up for success? So I would say there hasn't been that much changing, to be honest with you, Jeremy. It's been more about um, optimization. So one of the interesting parts, and this is a little bit too inside baseball, but the marketing team that I now lead wasn't actually part of the core marketing function till I joined. It was part of the decision of when I came on board, a few of the, the key people who were part of that hiring process, if you're like, well, you know, this is the opportunity to bring customer success you know, right back into the core experience. Again, why, why I'm so excited about the role. So one of the first things has been about, let's understand what that really means. You don't want to disrupt all of the good things that the team already do, but you want to look at you know, the, the core marketing capability, which is a mega, mega, super talented group and go, okay, 
how do you dock into this, you know, excellence and expertise and scale what we're doing? You know, we're doing good already. How do you accelerate that to great by working with these other great people? Um, there's nothing like being in the same organization to be a, a forcing function, if you like, to you know, drive things forward. So that's been one of those. That was kind of like decided before I joined. I was part of the conversation and I'm glad I was. Um, but I'd say that's, you know, I've only been here six months now. So that's been a, a big part and as part of the, uh, you know, the internally focused, it's only felt just getting, make, making sure that the fundamentals are in place. So as we're describing what we do, why we do it, how we do it, um, we're re-educating our stakeholders, but also this new organization, you know, within Salesforce as well, or, or the core marketing team. We we have to, if you like, re-establish, hey, this is what we do and why, and, you know, let's, let's make friends. Um, so it's been a lot about the the internal uh, so that we can expedite and accelerate the external stuff to come. Is it across all of Salesforce's products that you sit on customer success across all of them? Oh, yeah. I mean, Salesforce, when okay. they think about a customer, they think of a customer in um, customer 360. Uh, that That is their actually how they, they think about, um, you know, their capability, the products and our customers. So, yep, it, uh, customer success relates to the full customer 360, everything we do. What are some of the things you do to kind of reach across the aisle and build trust and rapport and align with other stakeholders? You said there's a bit of re-education happening and, you know, know, kind of reign reignition around this this maybe new vision or angle that's being presented. Um, but that does require you to talk to many people in many different ways. So we probably talked about this before. The marketing leader role is one of the most interesting in the ELT. And so now I, I see you with really depth and breadth of, of marketing experience now at the helm of customer success for an incredible marketing organization, which means you have to work really well with other stakeholders. And I'm just curious of like, what are some of the things that have worked well for you, again, at the size and scale of a sales force? Yeah, I, th I think um, this is where experience plays, right? May maybe 15 years ago, I would have thought this is an easy game to play, but uh, you're absolutely right. It's one where um, you have to have the humility to be able to learn from you know their great experience. I genuinely say this where um, I think I've been lucky in my career where I've been blessed to work with some exceptional talent. I've worked in other organizations as well where it's been about raising the bar. Salesforce is just a, you know, you're in rarefied air with the, the people you work with. So I'm um, very, very lucky in that respect. Um, and I do believe in being a learner. So the reality is I want to seek to learn. It was a big part of why I joined Salesforce was because I don't think I, I've figured it all out yet. Um, and I think there's stuff to, to learn from everywhere. I don't know if it's a secret to success, but, you know, hey, spend the time to understand what people are doing and what's working well before, you know, maybe imparting your, your own wisdom. That said... I would say I have never been in an organization, and I don't want to be overly poly, uh, Pollyanna about um, this organization. I'm, I'm definitely in the honeymoon period, right? I'm six months in, so uh, you know, come come with these biases. But uh, <laughs> there is a welcoming atmosphere at Salesforce, which is almost a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, you know, Mark talks about um, you know the Ohana is the family, the extended family with our customers, and that is how the company is run. So the the reality is, um, you know, maybe in prior organizations, you felt like maybe you have to, you know, kind of like crack the door open or force the door open. For the vast majority of conversations at Salesforce, people are welcoming you through the door and you, you have to just be a little bit careful of a, you know, over overreaching, overstretching yourself. So, uh, yeah, it's a, a blessed environment in that respect. I think, uh, you know, it, when they describe it as an Ahana or a family, it's what, what you join, you, you're part of it. So, uh Less, less having to break through those doors. More about uh, you know feeling comfortable walking through them. What's that you said? Ohana. Ohana. Yeah, Hawaiian. Oh, what? Yeah, what is that? What is this? Believe it. It means family. Ohana. Okay, I've not, I've not heard that. Okay, that's the a term that's being used internally that Salesforce uses to yeah, talk the, about. The it. Salesforce it's, culture it's, is yeah. The Salesforce ah. culture is rooted in in uh, you know Hawaiian. So. Um, I don't know the story as prolifically as others, but you know, um, Mark's got a deep connection with Hawaii. Um, he certainly okay. you know, spent um, a lot of time there, and you know, it, it's very much how he thinks of the culture, um, thinks of people. So uh, it's a special environment. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This segment is brought to you by Salesforce. Salesforce brings marketing and engagement together. If you wanna learn more, head over to salesforce.com forward slash marketing. And please subscribe to this channel for more marketing insights from the world's best marketing leaders across the Fortune 500 and beyond.